Any star, it will run out of fuel in its core, and it starts changing, it starts bloating, getting so large that it will engulf the orbit of Mercury and Venus and come very close to Earth. So imagine looking on the horizon and sunrise is half the sky. James Webb Space Telescope has recently spotted a sudden 250% increase in the brightness of Betelgeuse, the red star located at the shoulder of the Orion constellation. This peculiar behavior has sparked excitement for a rare spectacle. Some suggest a surge in brightness might indicate Betelgeuse is gearing up to go supernova, but the exact time remains uncertain. Experts speculate it could happen soon. Join us as we explore the depths of space and unravel the mysteries surrounding this celestial giant. Betelgeuse has the potential to reshape our understanding of the universe. Despite its name not being widely known, you've likely admired its brilliance. A radiant reddish shining brightly at the shoulder of Orion, a well-known constellation. Betelgeuse's enormity is staggering. If placed at the heart of our solar system, its outer surface would extend beyond Jupiter's orbit. This colossal star, easily observable, continues to captivate us. Unlike most stars, Betelgeuse changes visibly over time due to its proximity to our galaxy. Classified as a semi-regular variable star, its brightness fluctuates steadily, moving towards an eventual grand collapse in a supernova explosion. In recent years, Betelgeuse has become even more intriguing due to unexpected fluctuations in brightness. These fluctuations, including a significant surge on May 20th, 2023, have scientists puzzled. Betelbot, a Twitter account dedicated to tracking Betelgeuse, reported a staggering 142% increase in brightness, followed by a more recent update indicating a 150% increase. Andrea Dupree, an astrophysicist from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, notes that Betelgeuse currently ranks as the seventh brightest star in the night sky, climbing three places from its usual tenth position. From the southern hemisphere, Betelgeuse shines brightly in the early evening sky, easily visible at the shoulder of the Orion constellation. Dr. Sarah Webb, an astrophysicist from Swinburne University of Technology in Australia, highlights Betelgeuse's significance. It offers a rare opportunity to witness the final stages of a massive star's life, providing invaluable insights into red giants' behavior before they explode as supernovae. When Betelgeuse eventually explodes, it could become incredibly bright for about a week, possibly casting shadows at night. This prospect has both amateur stargazers and professional astronomers eagerly anticipating the event. Heidi Morris a scientist at Los Alamos National Laboratory and president of the Padero Astronomers and Astronomy Club, notes the enduring fascination with Betelgeuse's brightness fluctuations, a phenomenon observed for centuries by various cultures. Currently, Betelgeuse's brightness cycle lasts around 130 days, significantly shorter than its typical 400-day cycle. These rapid changes offer astronomers a unique opportunity to study this stellar phenomenon in detail shedding light on the final stages of a star's life. The unusual behavior of Betelgeuse began in 2019 after it forcefully ejected a portion of its outer atmosphere. These fluctuations in brightness are atypical for Betelgeuse, raising questions about whether it will explode into a supernova. According to a paper authored by Dupree and other scientists from Harvard and the University of California, Berkeley, it will take another five to 10 years before Betelgeuse returns to its usual 400-day brightness cycle. Since the Great Dimming, Betelgeuse has exhibited altered behavior in terms of its light and radial velocity. Despite its unpredictable behavior, Betelgeuse remains a massive red supergiant star undergoing the final stages of rapid evolution. When it exhausts its fuel, the core will collapse under its enormous mass resulting in a supernova explosion that could outshine entire galaxies. The timing of this explosion is uncertain. As noted by Dr. Grauer, an associate professor of astronomy at the University of Portsmouth, predicting supernova events remains challenging given the limited historical data and the complexities of stellar evolution. Betelgeuse is currently undergoing fusion processes, 
gradually progressing through various elements like helium, carbon, oxygen, silicon, and iron as a red giant star. It fuses helium into carbon in its core, a process that takes thousands of years. Eventually, it will progress to fuse heavier elements until it can no longer sustain fusion reactions, leading to gravitational collapse and potentially forming a black hole or a neutron star. While some speculate about Betelgeuse's imminent explosion, historical records indicate that it has been growing redder over the past 2,000 years, suggesting it may take considerable time before it goes supernova. NASA estimates suggest Betelgeuse is not expected to explode for another 100,000 years, offering reassurance that its explosion is unlikely within our lifetimes. Despite the uncertainty, Betelgeuse's behavior continues to intrigue scientists and inspire advancements in our understanding of stellar evolution. Dr. Sarah reminds us to remain open to possibilities, even as we acknowledge the unlikely chance of witnessing Betelgeuse's explosion in our lifetime. Staying attentive to its changes may lead to further scientific breakthroughs, reminding us to keep hope alive for new discoveries in the cosmos. It's crucial to understand that our observations of Betelgeuse are essentially glimpses into the past. The light we see from the star is over 600 years old. Theoretically, Betelgeuse may have already exploded and we wouldn't yet be aware of it. While this possibility exists, it's far from certain. History has shown us that our expectations in astronomy can be challenged. Prior to 1987, Astronomers believed only red supergiants could undergo supernovae. However, that year, a giant blue star in another galaxy exploded, surprising the scientific community. There's still much to learn, and surprises may lie ahead. Observing Betelgeuse and other massive stars allows us to deepen our understanding of stellar phenomena. Despite the absence of a grand explosion, Betelgeuse's current behavior is captivating. Its oscillation between dimming and flaring unveils fascinating physics. The fact that stars pulsate on human timescales is remarkable. While Betelgeuse is currently much brighter than expected based on its usual 400-day cycle, there's hope it will eventually return to this cycle, though it's currently struggling to do so. Recent observations have suggested that Betelgeuse might be in a late phase or nearing the end of the core carbon-burning process. This stage involves the conversion of carbon into heavier elements like oxygen and magnesium. If this is indeed the case, experts predict a core collapse leading to a supernova explosion could occur within a few tens of years. However, the exact stage of Betelgeuse's evolution remains challenging to determine and uncertainties persist. The prospect of witnessing Betelgeuse's explosion during our lifetimes is uncertain. The carbon burning phase can last upwards of a thousand years and the study suggesting an imminent explosion has not yet been accepted for publication. However, contemplating the possibility of Betelgeuse going supernova is exhilarating. It would be an extraordinary event, visible even during the day for weeks. When the moment arrives, the initial signs of the supernova's arrival will be subtle yet unmistakable with neutrinos sweeping over Earth as high-energy photons escape from the expanding cloud of stellar debris. Betelgeuse will gradually grow brighter in the night sky, potentially reaching peak brightness 10,000 to 100,000 times its normal brilliance within just one week. This spectacle will astound anyone fortunate enough to witness it, marking a momentous event in astronomical history. The remnants of Betelgeuse's explosion could be as bright as a quarter or half of a full moon concentrated into a single point of light. Astonishingly, this luminosity would be visible during daylight, casting dramatic shadows at night. Predictions suggest it could be anywhere from 15 to 250 times brighter than Venus, currently the second brightest object in the night sky. The spectacle of Betelgeuse's explosion would linger in our view for approximately 100 days captivating astronomers and offering a rare opportunity to observe the aftermath up close. Fortunately, Betelgeuse's supernova wouldn't pose any threat to humans, as it's still significantly far away. Binoculars and telescopes would enable us to observe the event for an extended period without harm. However, such a dramatic event wouldn't go unnoticed. Historically, 
Supernovae were often interpreted as bad omens, and Betelgeuse's demise could elicit intriguing reactions worldwide. Astronomers believe it could even reignite widespread interest in astronomy, awakening people from their unawareness on a civilization-wide level. Betelgeuse isn't the only red supergiant in our galaxy. Others, like Eta Carini, might burst into the sky before it does. Statistically, our Milky Way should witness a supernova roughly every 50 years. Yet we haven't seen one in the last 400 years. However, we've observed remnants of past explosions, indicating that we're overdue for an extraordinary cosmic event. It's just a matter of time before the next star puts on its dazzling show for the universe to witness. Betelgeuse's history is rich with significant events, including the great dimming in the autumn of 2019. This unprecedented decrease in brightness puzzled astronomers and sparked speculation about its potential explosion. Although Betelgeuse's brightness returned to normal by April 2020, the reason behind its dimming remained a mystery until further observations shed light on the phenomenon. Sky watchers can easily spot Betelgeuse from their backyards, providing valuable observations for scientists. However, to gain a deeper understanding of the star and its significant changes, scientists rely on observatories like the Hubble. The curiosity surrounding Betelgeuse's dimming and potential explosion has captured the attention of people worldwide, as it would be the closest supernova ever observed by humans, promising a spectacular astronomical event for generations to come. Unlike our sun, Betelgeuse is a massive star with a much shorter lifespan. It's certain that Betelgeuse will eventually undergo a supernova, transforming into either a neutron star or a black hole, depending on the material left behind after the explosion. However, many astrophysicists cautioned against immediately attributing the dimming of Betelgeuse to a supernova event. They suggested more ordinary phenomena, such as convective cell activity or the presence of a dust cloud, could be responsible. A team led by astrophysicist Miguel Montarges from the Paris Observatory shed light on the Great Dimming by capturing high-resolution images of Betelgeuse using the Very Large Telescope in Chile's Atacama Desert. These images, taken between January and December of 2019 and January and March of 2020, revealed insights into the causes behind the dimming event. The team concluded that a combination of convective cell activity and the presence of a dust cloud likely contributed to the phenomenon. Detailed images clearly showed a significant dimming in the lower left portion of Betelgeuse, which remained relatively unchanged throughout the observation period. This led to the conclusion that the dimness was caused by a cloud of dust, likely originating from a massive eruption on Betelgeuse's surface. This eruption expelled an unprecedented amount of mass far exceeding typical coronal mass ejections observed in stars like our sun scientists believe this eruption may have been caused by a plume of gas bubbling up from within Betelgeuse, aided by its normal pulsation cycle. While the exact cause and mechanism remain unknown, Betelgeuse's recovery from the great dimming has been closely observed by scientists. Further investigation and computer simulations revealed that the decline in Betelgeuse's brightness was indeed due to a cloud of dust partially blocking its southern region. Detailed images taken before and after the dimming, along with computer simulations, supported this conclusion. Over 10,000 simulations showed that the scenario aligned best with the available data. Montarges and his team's explanation, supported by detailed observations and simulations, have provided valuable insights into the mysterious dimming of Betelgeuse. Astrophysicists like Meredith Joyce from the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, express confidence in this explanation, highlighting the importance of continued observation and analysis to understand the complexities of stellar phenomena. Normally, Betelgeuse ranks among the top 10 brightest stars in the night sky, with astronomers well aware of its periodic dimming, occurring approximately every 425 days during which it typically loses about a quarter of its maximum brightness temporarily. However, in 2019, astronomers were stunned to observe Betelgeuse's brightness dropping by an unprecedented two-thirds, a change noticeable even to the naked eye. The cause of this great dimming was traced back to a significant event in 2019 when Betelgeuse experienced a major outburst, 
essentially blowing off a substantial portion of its visible surface. This event created a massive surface mass ejection, which is highly unusual for a typical star, and was the primary cause of the dimming. The ejected gas and dust, roughly 400 billion times larger than a typical coronal mass ejection, disrupted Betelgeuse's internal forces, akin to removing a chunk of material from a spinning object, causing turbulent movements within the star. As Betelgeuse's core and stability are still recovering from this event, it exhibits unusual behavior, including interior bouncing or oscillations. These observations offer valuable insights into how red stars shed mass as they near the end of their lives before potentially exploding as supernovae. However, Andrea Dupree, an astrophysicist, emphasizes that Betelgeuse's recent behavior doesn't necessarily indicate an imminent supernova explosion. She has been piecing together data from various sources, including NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories, to understand this unexpected disturbance in an aging star. The colossal ejection of mass from Betelgeuse's surface, witnessed for the first time, disrupted its usual 400-day pulsation cycle, demonstrating the intensity of the explosion. While the outer layers seem to have returned to their usual state, the star's surface continues to fluctuate as it undergoes a regeneration process. Scientists compare this to a wobbly gelatin dessert, indicating ongoing instability. The significance of this event lies in its unprecedented nature, with astronomers never before witnessing such a significant portion of a star's visible surface being blown away. It suggests that surface mass ejections may differ fundamentally from coronal mass ejections observed in stars like our sun. Humanity's fascination with Betelgeuse spans thousands of years, captivating minds across civilizations, highlighting the enduring allure of celestial phenomena. Betelgeuse, also known as Betelgeuse, has fascinated humanity for millennia, not just for its scientific significance, but also for its role in various cultures, stories, and mythology. Descriptions of Betelgeuse date back over 2,000 years, with ancient civilizations like the Egyptians and Greeks noting its distinct features and variability. In ancient Egyptian astronomy, Betelgeuse was included in the constellation of Sahu, named after their god of the underworld. Its Arabic name, Bet al jauza meaning the giant shoulder, reflects its association with the constellation Orion. Interestingly, the star's color may have varied over time, with ancient descriptions suggesting it may not have had the reddish hue we see today. Aboriginal Australians also had deep knowledge of Betelgeuse's brightness fluctuations, along with other celestial phenomena. Their oral traditions, spanning over 65,000 years, offer valuable insights into the history of astronomy and highlight their remarkable observational skills. The discovery of Betelgeuse's variability challenged the long-held belief in the constancy of stars, leading to the emergence of astrophysics as a specialized field. Since then, Betelgeuse has been classified as a semi-regular variable star with a longer cycle than typical stars, adding to its intrigue. Despite millennia of observation, there's still much to learn about Betelgeuse and the universe it inhabits. Its story serves as a reminder of the vastness of our cosmic knowledge and the ongoing exploration of the mysteries of the cosmos.